All right, boys, welcome to the scrap. This will be the first official actual episode of Welcome to the Scrap. Um, we have done two prior to this, so it would technically be the third, but this is the actual first official episode of Welcome to the Scrap. So I'm just giving a little intro here. Um, my name is Osama the Great. Uh, I am a super fight fan. If you are expecting a a journalist or a, a super analyst or you know shit like that that's not what you're gonna get here you're gonna get super fans talking shit coming straight from the seats of a fan watching what's going on and uh you know talking all things fight sports mma and boxing as a whole so you know what i'm saying tap in you know what i'm saying enjoy the show let us know in the comments section um what you like about the show, what you dislike about the show, what you want to see, uh, and we will try to get better as time progresses with this show. All right, pull up. All right, boys, we got our first official episode of Welcome to the Scrap. We in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy Osama the Great, man. This is a whole new pod, as, as I said in the intro. We've already done two prior to this, so it's actually the third, but this is the first official. Actually, if you want to be super duper technical, we did do one before that. You know what I'm saying? The uh -huh. test run. <laughs> they didn't even make it to a hard drive, I don't think. <laughs> so <laughs> We didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> I, I was, we were trying, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, it, it was a good pot. Just take us, you know what I mean, for our word and shit. <laughs> but we back up in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to the scrap. You know what I mean? We talk all fight, combat, sports, you know what I'm saying? MMA, boxing. If it's in the news, we're going to give it the blues. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't no motherfucking fight analysts. We ain't no motherfucking journalists. We ain't no writers. We ain't nothing like that. We're mega fans of the sports. You know what I'm saying? Of fighting sports in general. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Take it. As you will, you know what I'm saying? If you fuck with our opinion, then fuck with our opinion. And if you don't fuck with our opinion, then fuck you. <laughs> you can move around. There's plenty of other people that talk fight sports, right? Yeah, there's, pl there's plenty of other fight blogs yeah, out yeah. there. They're good. We're just, we're just mega fans over here, you know what I'm saying? Fanboying it out. So let's get right to it, you know what I'm saying? Because we got to catch up, man. We got some things we didn't, uh, you know, address. We didn't get to do the uh, fight pod last week. You know, certain, certain shit was going on. Uh, but... Tio Fimo versus Josh Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Fire ass fight, bro. Was. What's your take on that shit, bro? Nah, it, it was great. Uh, we did what? He he won unanimous decision. I think he should have been undisputed, but um, all in all, it was good. I mean, he 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 shocked me. I wasn't going for Tio Fimo. I, I told you that. Like, I wasn't doing it. Um, but he proved me wrong. Uh, Josh Taylor, by the way, is a uh... yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah, let's go yeah. tell. Yeah, <laughs> he did his thing. He did his thing. I, I, I cannot, I cannot hate on that one bit. I was switching back and forth between UFC and boxing. Started watching his fight, you know, towards the end of the UFC rounds. But all in all, oof. Yeah, I tuned out of the UFC shit, bro. I was dead focused on that shit <laughs> straight up. <laughs> it was a great fight, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even even though I feel, you know what I mean, like the judge the judging was kind of fucked up. They almost like try to try to rob uh tail though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it was not it was it was it was a good fight, but it was not a close fight, bro. It was it was pretty much like it's hard to say because it's a good fight. You don't want to say it's like a landslide. It was a good back and forth, but you, if you're watching, you could tell Tail was getting the best of him. Like pretty much, you know, the majority of the rounds. And I, I mean, what's up with the judging, bro? This like I said, unanimous decision. There should have been no reason for. It. I don't know what the third judge was watching, giving it uh, one seventeen to one eleven. But like, I mean. That it it, it, sh it should have been a true unanimous, which was one fifteen all around. Like I think, I don't think, I don't understand why that last judge would do that. But. Yeah, for sure. And, and you know, um, 
he he's the you know um the lineal champ right because um Josh Taylor didn't um he 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 dropped his belts nobody beat him mm -hmm. and um which sucks for tail bro you know what i'm saying because now you know cuz they say that he he was never even undisputed when he beat loma mm -hmm. but there's it's it's back and forth because there's video of uh, was it Mauricio Suleiman? I guess his name for the w, mm -hmm. WBC. He said he's saying that you know Teo was, and then he, there's another video of him saying that he's not. You know what I'm saying? And it's just very confusing with all these belts because listen, I'm just learning about this shit too. They got they got a, a WBC regular champion. They got a WBC actual champion. They got a WBC super champion. They got a WBC interim champion. Like, and this is in each weight class. Oh. And I didn't know if you're a regular champion, bro, you're not mandatory. Yeah, at Which all. Is retarded, right? Like, yeah. you, have to, you have to be the interim to be the actual. When, when uh, did that come into effect? Because I've always gone with that, with that mentality of, like, it, it was already given. Like, I don't understand why they're – the oh, pony around bro, with just, allowing them to to i guess have like deserving versus just having it is that if I, if that's what it is then okay but i believe if you're the champ you're deserving of it all like yeah for nobody's sure nobody's gonna nobody's gonna beat you you should be in line somewhere so like if um okay so so for instance say say the interim champion was not able to take the fight or decided like uh uh, or he got turned down, his mandatory shit got turned down or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I don't know, I don't know. But if for some reason he can't fight, then the next in line should be mandatory for that fight, right? Yeah. I would think it works that way, but apparently it doesn't, which is weird as fuck. But anyways, that's, that's like super off the topic. But I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just kind of going in and explaining about the, you know, the Loma shit. You know, yeah. how that shit worked out. And then the Josh Taylor shit, you know what I'm saying? Him dropping his belts and all that shit made him be on some, you know what I mean? Like, he, he <laughs> technically, he should be two division undisputed, right? Like, he should be, yeah. In my, morally, he's undisputed in two divisions, morally. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Not technically, or, yeah, technically, I guess. But not officially. He's uh, morally undisputed in two, uh, like, weight divisions and, and a lot of um big names in boxing are giving him his credit about the shit you know what i'm saying how do you feel about him retiring from the sport that so-called so retiring from that i kind of didn't like <laughs> at least attempt to try to get it back i mean don't don't just don't just get out like that like i i think he should have went out at least kicking a little bit more ass or at least proving that this is the reason why. Like, I don't know. I, I doubt that he's going to be actually retired. Uh, you know, his his um, his uh, top rank um, contract ends fairly soon. So I think he's just going to sit out, work on his uh, promotional company, and, you know, sign some fighters and shit like that, get him some fights and, you know, make some money on that end, waiting around until his contract is up. And then we're gonna see him probably with the PBC. I, I would believe. I think Tank will be his fight, his return fight. Uh -huh. <laughs> because Mayweather's been on record saying that that's that's the fight to make in boxing right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's that's gonna be the highest grossing fight to him. You know what I'm saying? And you know he has his mindset on it. So how, who you think will win out of Tank and fucking Tail? Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go and tank, bro. <laughs> I can't, yeah, I can't bet it. I can, at this point, I can't bet against tank. Anymore. Yeah, I'm going right. tank, man. Like, I mean, uh, again, I did, I did just say that uh, you know Lopez just he proved me wrong. So I mean, anything could could really happen at this point. But I have a hard time betting against tank, man. I just can't do it. Hey, but what do I know? Most people don't know shit about boxing at all. Period. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do I know? Anyways, moving right along. Shot the tail, man, doing his thing. You know what I mean? Big shot. That man, man is respect. Put some respect on his name. Double, triple respect on his name. You feel me? Uh, morally undisputed two times. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely double lineal champ. Uh, you know what I mean? So a paycheck should come along with that bitch. You know what I mean? Uh, AB also won his uh, fight that night. He looked miserable, terrible, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yeah. retarded after the fucking fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the AB that I know. But he's been out the ring for a while. You know what I'm saying? Ring rust is a real thing. He is older and shit like that. He's coming back off of, you know, he got sober and, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to acclimate. Mm-hmm. So, but he's with Don King, bro. This shit looked like they was fighting in a high school gymnasium somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> they had, they were selling tables and and buffets. You know what I'm saying? Like they had the tables out there with the sheets on them and all that. Shit, you know what I'm saying? He looked like he was fighting in a dance hall somewhere. <laughs> Why are we doing this to AP right now? My boy, where it goes, my boy where, he's about billions. He about bullshit right now. Like, that shit was about booty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit was shot on a GoPro, dog. Like, that <laughs> not good, bro. Hey, and these are my fan perspectives, bro. You know what I'm saying? All respect and love to all the fighters, man. I'm always giving y'all all the respect and love, the highest – appraises and shit like that but i'm gonna call bullshit when it's bullshit you know what i'm saying and don <laughs> king is officially bullshit bro like come on man come on bro do he even know he's there do he even know what he's saying like i don't know bro i don't know dog he looked like a pimp named slickback you know what i mean <laughs> to, to be fair he's always looked like that but <laughs> as far as as far as the even wanting to do this and not even knowing that he's there, I'm totally with you on that. Like he is it's Don King, the king of promotions. Like you know, when you when you go into respect factor, you got to give him that. But this was this was some bullshit, man. <laughs> like the the promotion and the uh, the whole fight of it was yeah, the whole lead of it and everything. He yeah. fought a lawyer. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, bro. Get your get your reps in. You feel me? You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I want to see AB back. The thing that I did like, and here's here's the good praise about it. He he wasn't scared to let his hands go, and yeah. that's my been my argument about AB for like shit the last couple of years, bro. The old AB let his fucking hands go. The, the, as he was, uh, you know, you know, uh, gaining in fame and, uh, you know, notoriety and shit like that, he became more selective, picking his shots, laying back, waiting for the right point to fucking strike. You know what I'm saying? And he's throwing one, maybe two punches and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Just super duper counter punching. And you don't have knockout power like that. You know what I'm saying? So you can't just wait, you know, wait around and try to find the right shot and shit like that. It might land, but. You know, more more than likely for him, it's not. You know what I mean? So that has always been my gripe. But, you know, high praise to him for coming back and, and showing that dog and, and being in there throwing his hands and shit and letting that shit go, not being afraid to push the push the pace of the fight and come forward and shit like that. So I like that. Good yeah, shit. Yeah, it's definitely a, a new AB. I mean, his last fight was back in 2021, and he was a little sluggish that time. But who was that fight now? I'm thinking about it. Uh Pacquiao, right? Uh, no, no, no. There was what he lost against Pacquiao, and he came back in 2021 and fought Santiago. I, I don't, I forgot the dude's name, but yeah, I mean, because he went through, he went through like a streak of losses. He lost against Mikey Garcia, and then Jesse Vargas, I believe he had a draw, and then the Manny Pacquiao is the one that kind of just put him out. Like and that was 2019. We ain't hired for for a minute, but coming back, like you said, I mean. It, yeah, we can make fun of him all we want about the, about how the, how low budget the fight was, but yeah, yeah. It at was, the end of the day, like yeah. you have to, if you got to rebuild, you got to rebuild, man. You got to start from the bottom and go back up, you know. And whatever he's doing right now, I do like that fighting style he has right now. The the quick hands and pushing forward, all that stuff. He's he's showing that he is deserving of a chance, a second chance to come back and right, right. take over this fight, man. Like this fight world. So I'll I'll big up to him. Yeah, hopefully he signed a fight with somebody from like the PBC or the Zone, so he can get on some actual cameras, bro. Because him, <laughs> Don I, King bought some fucking dollar store cameras and yeah. set the shit up and hit record. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> damn, <laughs> 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 just security camera, There's just security from the High Life fucking. Security? No, he got some ring cameras sitting around with the ring. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think I think if he did uh, premier boxing, I think that'd be pretty pretty nice, man. Because I mean, 
the zone, uh, top rank, you know, all these uh, Showtime, they all got the big names right now. And not saying that AB isn't a big name, but he's a big draw. People will draw to that name. So give him a uh, premiere, you know, like let him go on there and, and give him a contract like that. Start out from there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he was without Heyman and shit like that. So that'll be an easy, like, you know, thing to do. But I would like to see him do a top rank fight just so I can see Bob Arum and Don King in the same <laughs> room at the same time. These are like national treasures, people. These are like motherfucking dinosaurs walking the fucking earth right now. <laughs> Two of the oldest farts in fucking American history, like <laughs> in boxing in general. Like, bro, they, like Bob Arum was explaining, like he was like the first person to throw a fucking fight in in Las Vegas. He's the one that kicked off the whole shit. God damn. You know like, <laughs> to say that, bro, is crazy. That shit is wild, bro. Like, how, how do you get that accolade? That's fucking wild. And you're still around, and you're still, like, at the fights, knowing what's going on, saying what's happening round and round, like, giving a recap, like a real recap. That movie, like, how the fuck? It was that movie, uh, Gangs of New York, where they're, where they're boxing in that fucking movie. I think I saw it with the background. Like, he's promoting <laughs> some of those fights, man. Like, yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, man. Moving forward. We, uh, uh, of course, a lot was happening that night. We had Hyman Mongia versus Serve uh, Dervinchenko, or however the fuck. Oh, no, man. Try it again. <laughs> Long ass. The Dervinchenko, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't get to see this fight. Uh, I just watched some highlights of it. I didn't get to see it because it was like on the same time as fucking Teo and, you know, the, the main events from the USC and shit. So I didn't get to see it. But it looked like Munguia was getting his ass kicked for the pretty much of the majority of the fight, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Did you yeah. see it? I saw like the after, like the same thing. I, I told you I was going through both uh, UFC and and it's back so to boxing, to so it was, it was hard to watch everything, you know? And I wasn't even at the house. If I was at the house, I would have had multi-screen popped up, but I was over at somebody else's house. If I was me. paying for the zone, I could go back and watch it, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> this, be, this, be, <laughs> this being our first pod, let me go ahead and start this out, but we pay for every fight that we watch, guys. <laughs> yeah, that we watch. And I, I, I'm not paying for the zone right now, so they didn't piss me off, so I'm, I'm cool on them for a little while. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, but Mongia pulled it out, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know what I'm saying, they should have, like, a rematch. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people were saying, really, Dervinchenko won that shit, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I mean, give give the rematch for that reason, but, I mean, Mongia, the dude's 42-0, and 0, man, with 33, by way of 33 KOs, you know, like, yeah, I say just give him the rematch just to, just to get that fucking uh, – that heat off that people were talking bullshit about him saying that. Yeah, you know, for sure. That. And then it sells the fight. Maybe I buy, you know what I'm saying? You know, the zone back again. And then, you know what I mean? Watch that shit. Cause yeah, give me something, <laughs> something interesting. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, so I don't know, bro. He's, they're talking about him moving up and we'll talk about that here uh, in a while, but yeah, they're talking about him moving up 168. Um, but like I said, we'll we'll revisit that shit again when we get to the topic. Yeah, Just running running through the recap. Um, all right, on to the UFC. Uh, Charles Oliveira dominates, but oh, near the douche Darius <laughs> 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 on your Connor shit, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You do as you're told. <laughs> I can get that sound bite, bro. Hell yes, you do as you're told. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you were tapped in more to the. To the fight, you want to give your recap of it? Yeah, um, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's been a couple of weeks now, so I'm still kind of yeah, yeah. taking it through. But from what I saw, uh, just pure dominance, man. Uh, Charles Oliveira just just handled it, went in there quick, got it done. Um, and that is why he's He's one of the best right now. Yeah, I was trying to watch it too, and like I, I kept getting distracted, and then I looked down, and it was over. I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want him to win, man. I wanted Benil to win. I, I, I think uh, he has been uh, very dominant as well. You know what I'm saying? On his end, and Charles is coming off like losses and shit like that. So, uh, I, I and you know, um, he he's kind of been um, fucked over a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of it. You know what I mean? Like he's mm-hmm. been looked over and you know pushed to the back and pushed to the side and shit like that. So 
I was kind of rooting for him, you know what I mean? And, and, and you know, I'm kind of biased when it comes to, like, uh, especially Brazilians, but I don't like people. If you're trying to sell to in an, an American uh, market, I feel like you should learn the language of the land, this, the, the people that are buying these actual uh, fights, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so this this is why because you know when Canelo started speaking English, his sales went up. When yeah. uh, when um, uh, Anderson Silva learned to speak English, his sales went up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and so on and so forth. These guys that you know, what I'm saying, uh, 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 Khabib. Nobody fucked with Khabib like that until he started speaking English, bro. You know what I'm saying? Send location, send me location. Like then, then you start feeling like his real charisma and, and 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 you know what i mean like he <laughs> yeah oh. you, you, yeah go I, ahead. I guess it's just I, I guess i get it like i mean it it makes for makes for a broader audience you don't just get stuck in your niche of just having your countrymen you know appreciate you it's a way to reach out i mean we're sitting here as americans saying that if you get if you get on the english it'll be more accepted, but we're not the only ones that speak English. You have countries all over the world that do that. And you're going to just tap into a great market. I mean, right now we already know you for your fight, man. Like you're good. We just want to understand what you're trying to convey, you know, like, right, right, right. and yeah, we're yeah. really big on drama. We, we want right. to hear the shit talk. We want to hear it. Big in, drama uh, show. Big yeah. drama show. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I need that sound bite too. I got to remember these. <laughs> Make a note. Goddamn. Now, nah, uh, fucking. Yeah, bro. So like when when who who would have knew that uh fucking Khabib and um what's his cousin's name? God damn, why is it slipping my mind? Uh why is it slipping my mind? Like oh my he just beat Charles. Anyways, who would have knew these Russian guys were fucking hilarious, bro? <laughs> these motherfuckers are super duper funny, bro. <laughs> it, it's because of the accent mostly, but like it's just hilarious how these fools talk, bro. Like when him and DC are going back and forth, you're a bullshit guy. You're a bullshit guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're a number one bullshit guy. <laughs> it's hilarious to me, bro. Yeah, but yeah. They get, the, they, they get those one lines in there because they only know so much English. So they get that bam, bam, bam. That's it. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, shouts, uh, shouts to Charles. I'm pretty sure they're going to do that. Uh, rematch here coming pretty soon. Why can I still not remember this motherfucker's name? Uh, fuck. Anyways, um, so on to another Brazilian, Amanda. I hate you, Nunes. Uh, wins in dominant fashion <laughs> against God damn. Irina Donna. You know, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know me, fool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, shouts to her, bro. She been doing her thing. Very fucking dominant. You know what I'm saying? I just do not. Fuck with her. I don't know why. I just do not fuck with her. We'll get into that some other time. But like because <laughs> I do. I've been fucking with her, man. Like, like it's just, it's just and, I, I, and I was being biased too. I wanted another Mexican champion. And I Irene Aldana, you've been so dominant. You've been so crazy, dominant, going crazy. And where was that? You froze the fuck up. You went to sleep in there. You just let this bitch beat you up, and you're better than her. I mean. Like, look, man, like, I seriously... I say that about... Hold on, my bad. I say that about um, Amanda a lot. There's a lot of people that are fucking better than her and should have beat her, and she still ends up winning. I don't know how. This is this is why I fucking hate it, because there's something about her that, that must be very intimidating in the ring, because I don't feel like her skill set is better than a lot of people she got in the ring with, and she won, bro. And, and shouts to her. She did that shit, but like he like okay, Aldana, for instance, her stand up game is fucking retarded, bro. Yeah, and she got beat the fuck up. Like how? I how? I seriously that night I was about to call the cops because <laughs> like she was just dog. Getting Get out that bitch. fucking shit out of her man, just standing there and taking it. I mean, shouts to her for taking those hits, but. I don't get it. Like you, you, you say that you know there's so many people that are better with her. And she gets to the rig, but if they were, they would win. Like <laughs> I mean, she she's good at what she does, man, and she can take hits. So I mean, this is, you know the 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 Amanda that um got choked out by uh goddamn I can't even 
I'm I'm bad at remembering like just names and shit. But oh, girl, that fucking the Mexican chick that choked her out, bro. Uh, everybody was surprised at that, and I'm like, I'm not surprised, bro. Like Amanda's not that good to me, bro. Like I'm just I'm I'm not surprised, bro. I'm, I, I was surprised because I thought she was better. Like she should have won that fight. Like, um, uh, who was that? Pena. Yeah, Pena. Pena. Yeah, because she came right back and beat the living breaks off of her. So it's like, it, it, to me, it's like, it, it, you know, I guess you have one of those one-off nights, but I mean, she won everything after that, and what, which was Aldana was the last fight, but I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I love her. I've, I've, I've been fucking with her for a while. Um, you yes. know, everybody everybody was going crazy with, with uh, Chris Cyborg, and she came and whooped her fucking ass. Everybody was, was big on Ronda Rousey, yeah. came out and beat her ass. Like, I mean, I, I could mean, see why she beat Ronda's ass. Ronda was shit, too. But everybody was on that train, too. Everybody was doing it, you know, like, until she got her ass up. Fucking hip toss. <laughs> Armbar. Yeah. I mean, Val. I mean, she she will Val, who right now is, well, yeah, now that Amanda is retired, is the number one fucking female USC fighter, in my opinion. Like it's crazy because she will be the last ever. What what is it like like flyweight or whatever the fuck? Yeah, I believe so. Because they're, they're going to close the division or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. So like, uh, like you know, shouts to her, bro. She made history. She did her thing. You know what I'm saying? She's retired now. You know what I'm saying? Thank fucking Jesus Christ for that. And I'll probably have to never hear this bitch talk again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All fucking laughs, bro. Anyway, so moving on. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Who were the other ones we had? She retired. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just move on to the uh recent topics and shit. So everything past the line. Yeah. Uh, so I'll let y'all know in these topics we're gonna um this is what we're gonna do. So, so we had to recap and you know what I'm saying catch up on everything and kind of like tap into uh, some of the old topics and shit like that. Um, but for right now, um. Uh, you know, moving forward, every topic that we're going to get, um, each person is going to be allotted three minute rounds, you know what I'm saying? So, you're going to get your three minutes to be able to get it off, and then you know, what I mean, you can't get it off in the three minutes, you're going to cut you off, and you know, what I mean, move forward and shit like that. Uh, so let's get to these topics. Right. Oh, let me uh put my dog in the room, you know what I'm saying? Got the young homie. <laughs> Yeah, I said, uh, got the young young dummy Finally. in the building. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got the young dummy in the You're building. Right. Like <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm ready for my boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, knock somebody out in the first round. <laughs> dummy boy, eight one seven in the building. You heard? Uh, you know what I mean? We gonna touch on these topics. Um, let's see what we gonna do for it. All right, you wanna uh, introduce you your topic that you put in there? That golden boy shit. Oh, was that that was mine, right? Um, so let me make sure that we have this correct. I think uh, uh, Kamza was the one you were talking about. No, Khabib. no, no, no. no. Well, I can't yeah. remember this nigga's name, bro. <laughs> it's still gonna fuck at you, huh? So yeah. Oh, so the one that I have put it. Yeah. All right. I see where I'm at. We y'all gotta y'all gotta bear with us. I mean, we we've been stacking topics for what about two three weeks now, so is 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 gonna be a kind of a little see fight how it us. works. It's gonna be a kind of a little fight for us. Haha. <laughs> um, no, go. What I was telling you was a uh, go to boy. You know, they filed that lawsuit against Ryan Garcia uh, because he wants to enforce that contract. I know that <clears throat> it came like a week after the legal team of golden boy uh, sent a demand letter saying that. Islam. He, God damn. <laughs> damn. You were really, it was really going to hit right. you. Uh, he sent that demand <laughs> letter alleging uh, violations of the, the promotional agreement as well as the California federal law. I believe they, they, they sent all this shit saying that he basically, uh, is is in breach of contract for for what for what Golden Boy has him with, um, 
So, mm. yeah. <laughs> uh, they, well, they, all right, so you're going to get your three minutes off, bro. Yeah, so uh, to me, I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't think. I don't think they really have a lot of ground. I mean, I know Golden Boy does. Uh, they they've been working with Ryan for a while. Uh, they said, you know, he he fulfilled everything up until to uh, up until that moment, you know. Um, but he just doesn't want to do the remaining of his contract. So um, I can know, he wait out his contract? Yeah, he can wait it out. Um, does it say? No, nah. I know. Uh, I know what I, I know the grab uh Golden Boy is trying to do right now. He's he's one of the most prominent, lucrative, you know, boxing deal that, that, that that's right now that, that's being held, and he doesn't want to let that go. But I I think I, I really believe that Ryan could do better if he just went went with somebody else right now. Um or went over to Canelo's team or something like that, you know, something that'll that'll push him a little bit more. And give so him the, the fights that we all want to see. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. My fault. I go ahead. No, go you. ahead. No, no, no. You still got your time. I'm stop. I'm, st- I'm timed. <laughs> yeah. Mike Tyson style. All right. So, uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. So, um, my thing is that I, um, Ryan supposedly has something that he's suing uh, De La Hoya and them for, too. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like a, a lawsuit both ways. So uh, you're saying like Ryan is suing or Golden Boy is suing? Golden Boy, they they're hey, filing so, the lawsuit against. Oh, I heard him. the other way as well that mm-hmm. uh, Ryan was suing Golden Boy for something that they did in their in the contract that breaches the contract as well. So both of them believe that each other has breached the contract. So I wonder if it's a counter suit then, because I know I know the suit came like like I said I believe like a week after the fight happened. So it, maybe he's counter to one for something else. Then. Right. Um, um, yeah. And it, just to your point, you know, I, I believe that Ryan can do better things uh, from under underneath De La Hoya. Anything that's attached to like De La Hoya and his legacy is not good, I don't believe. And I feel like the same thing with Mayweather and how Tank uh, was up under Mayweather and shit like that. And they were kind of like, you know, uh, basically extending the life or not the life of the the path of what, how Mayweather was in in his career, like just picking his fights and choosing his fights and just going for money fights and shit like that instead of, uh, you know, but I, I, you can say that, but Mayweather was actually getting belts and shit along the way. And tank is not really, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, but either way, the point is that I, I feel like, you know, associating the brand, I feel like that's why Canelo broke off and he got much bigger after he broke off. And I feel like Ryan will do the same, but he just needs uh, – he got exposed, bro. You know what I'm saying? He needs to learn a, a lot of things. And I think uh, him going with Derrick James and shit like that, they're, they're going to fucking drive home the fundamentals and they don't fuck around over there. So, um, yeah, I think I – think, um, It'll be a good move for him. Uh, hopefully, they can figure it out without being in too long, drawn out, and shit like that. And I know De La Hoya don't want to lose his fucking, like, top prospect and shit like that. But focus on Jaime Munguia. Focus on mm-hmm. fucking, um, um, what's homeboy name from uh, Dallas and shit? Uh, sorry, I can't I can't think right now. But, uh, yeah, they got, some, they got some good guys over there. You know what I'm saying? They just need to focus on building them up and, you know what I'm saying? Saying taking them to the next level and shit like that. Obviously, I feel like you, uh, personally, I feel like they've reached the top level of where they could take Ryan and where Ryan has taken himself. Like they've squeezed all the juice out of that lemon, lime, yeah. orange, whatever you have you. And, you know, just call it a day and move around. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with that. Dummy boy. Dang, that was three minutes. Yeah. Oh my God. It's your shit, bro. <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't have that much to add because y'all pretty much cover it. But um, I would just say, like, from my perspective, at least, I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like um, De La Hoya is kind of holding him back in a sense. Like, um, he should, like y'all said, he should have been with Canelo. They should squash the beef, honestly. 
Um, I don't know if they're still beefing now. Yeah, they but, look stupid going back and forth on Twitter. Just you know what I mean. But and nobody expected that from them. So just join back with Canelo. Y'all can he can if he just fixes his defense. It's like he's gonna be a great fighter. A lot of times, that's how you get things done, though. Like bringing it to the light. He's they probably been arguing behind the scenes for a little bit. See, mm, but if, mm. when it comes to a topic such as a lawsuit, or your promotion team suing for you, you, you got to think back on like what actually, what ground do you have? And it's something that we've been talking about for for a while. I know we have probably. I think we mentioned it on the on the trial podcast between us, but when you have these many streaming sites for fighting, eventually it was going to run down to what your contract has stipulated for you to fight on. Right. So golden boy fights the zone, but there's also a clause in Ryan's uh, contract that says he's allowed to fight pay-per-view with any other, with any other, uh, I guess, promotion to showtime, whatever the hell it is. Right. 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 So Javante fights under Showtime. Yeah. Brian Garcia decides to fight that way with a way to have the zone stream it as well. But Golden Boy pushed for the zone to be have the exclusive rights to it. So now this is where the conflict of interest comes into effect. Okay, well, he I my promotion teams with the zone, but my fighters fighting under Showtime. Like and this was going to happen eventually. Like we were going to see a lot of this happening because nobody's on board. Everybody wants to keep their money for themselves. And, and if you, you keep it locked in with the zone being its own service, nobody wants that. These old fighters, the uh, fight fans such as us, only no pay-per-view. You know, we don't want to have to go to another streaming service to fucking watch this shit, especially when it's a big name like Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia. You know, so they're going to have to find a way to to fix this and make it work a little bit better because you're going to have this. And then, like I said, Ryan, if I, I didn't know, I didn't know that he was counter suing. But if that's the reason, Allegedly. That's, a, that's a perfectly good reason. That's a very valid reason of doing it. I man, my contract states I can do this. There's no there's no reason. I don't care how the fuck you promoted the fight under the zone. Right. My contract says I'm allowed to do this. I signed on it. Again, you have no leg to stand on at that point. Mm -hmm. And you're going to start losing. I'm going to start losing value in my own promotion team if they're going to fucking do this to me. So mm -hmm. now, now I'm not going to fight. I'm just going to wait out my contract and be done with it. <laughs> Hell yeah. So hopefully they get that shit together. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know De La Hoya been, you know, yeah, boogie shit at the game, yeah. you know what I mean? But, yeah, anyways, <laughs> man, I'm going to get my dog in here, you know what I'm saying? Another special guest we got in the motherfucking building, you know what I'm saying? I got my dog Pedro, you know what I'm saying, in the building. Pull up, turn Big on your... Uh, there you go. Yeah, man. What's up, my boy? What's up, what's up? Uh, chilling, brother, chilling. Yeah, man. Uh, welcome to the scrap. You know what I mean? Uh, we were just talking about uh, Golden Boy, uh, his lawsuit against Ryan Garcia, you know, following uh, allegations of the contract violations. You got anything to weigh in on that? Yeah, I've heard about that. Uh, uh, I didn't, it didn't surprise me. I, I, I kind of saw it coming due to the fact that uh, the, the Twitter beefs, the back and forth uh it it wasn't it wasn't a surprise uh i see something i saw something like um like what floyd did in his uh with his contract too he might be buying himself out i mean he got paid so yeah fuck it, do I, that. I don't i don't see him not doing that, that that's why i think tail family should do as well yeah 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 i didn't even bring that that issue up the fact that your, the promotion team, I believe, is obligated to big you up and hype you up on Twitter. And if you go against that and start talking shit on Twitter, now that's a breach of contract. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, because, yeah, cause, I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's not supposed to be anything, any down talking on your fucking promotional team as well either. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm pretty I sure they would cover all these fucking bases. Yeah, 
But who knows? Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next shit. I, I did uh, have a a fucking uh, last minute uh, topic that I threw in there. I, I I've been seeing. Um, I didn't read the fucking article, but I seen a headline that said uh, they're talking about Joshua versus Wilder. Now, do we want to see? Because they've been talking about Wilder Ruiz recently. But now the topic's coming back up. Uh, they're in talks for Wilder Joshua. Do we want Wilder Ruiz or do we want Wilder Joshua? Who wants to go first? Well, don't everybody raise their yeah, hand. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll go first. Um, I feel like I want to see uh, Wilder and... Um, <laughs> I already forget his name. Ruiz. Uh, well, just because that, I feel like Anthony Joshua is done for now. Because I don't know, he's he's yeah, low key. He's like so he's so simple and so basic Boy. that Anthony that or Wilder would just. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. <laughs> he would end them early, but I feel like Ruiz could hang in there, um, given the fact that. When he fought, um, what's his name, Ortega? He was doing pretty good when he was fighting him. And, um, is that his name? That's not his name. Or is that Ortiz? Ortiz, yeah. Ortiz, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> I just had brain fart too. I'm like, I don't think that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, he was doing pretty good with him too. Um, like, given the fact who he is, Ortiz, and Reese fighting him. You would think that he would have lost that fight, yeah. but he stuck. He, he in got there put like down, a, and he got he's still back up. You know what I'm saying? Dropped got, got back in the fight and shit. Exactly. Oh so. no, he fought. Uh, what's the name too? Uh, what's the other Mexican full name, bro? Uh, God damn! All right, keep going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> but I feel, and it would be a more out, exciting y'all. fight to see. Um, I don't feel like, like I said, Anthony Joshua has that. Um, hype behind his name anymore he did back then but i feel like now it's kind of low on energy so that's that's what i think and you know somebody else can go next <laughs> i i would definitely not say we have we have seen the last chris of- chris Ariola, him, him and chris Ariola had a good ass fight too anyways yeah I, i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna say joshua is done and like or anything like that so First and foremost, his confidence is definitely fucking done. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, (laughs) he he left that bitch in the ring with uh, Usyk. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, to to answer your question right now, I'm gonna go uh, Wilder, Joshua. Like that. That's something I would want to see. We wanted to see that for the belts, though. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Don't get me wrong. That's one of them that they overcooked. Andy Ruiz. And, and uh, Anthony Joshua, two Anthony's would be pretty fucking cool. We got a Mexican fighter in there, like cool, like that'd be awesome. But the fight I want to see as far as boxing would definitely be Wilder, uh, Wilder Joshua. Like I gotta see that. I believe they're even close to coming to a decision on that. Like, don't quote me on that, but I believe that they're getting close to actually having that uh, fight happen. So, yeah, yeah, that's that as far as as far as the, yeah as far as the question. Yes, that's the, that's the fight I want to see. Yeah. Bet, bet, bet. All right, what you got, Pedro? Um, I'm gonna cut it to two minutes, guys. Because yeah, three minutes. Like y'all not even <laughs> y'all not even making three minutes. So let's just cut it down to two minutes. Everybody got two minutes to do their shit. Go ahead. This is the amateurs. <laughs> it's a girl fight. It's a girl fight. <laughs> the one that I want to see is a uh, will be a uh, uh, Reese versus. Uh, Wilder, Joshua. I, I don't think Joshua. Yeah, Joshua. He, he's. I don't see him fighting as like how he used to. He is like like we said. Uh, his second fight with uh Usyk, that just took him somewhere else mentally, and I don't think he's gonna be able to recover from that in the for a while. Yeah, I, he he, he, don't get me wrong. Coaching shit, bro. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I think he's still the cash cow for over there for Eddie Hearn, and I, I'm pretty sure he still uses him for or 
and will be using him for that. But uh, Wilder and I would like to see Wilder and Reeves. That would be like the best best fight for me to see. That's the one I would like to see. And see, I, I like all right. That's that's your that's your take on it. Yeah. You. All right. Let me get mine off. You know what I'm saying? No. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, but okay. So boom. We wanted we wanted um, Wilder Joshua this entire time. You know what I'm saying? It was overcooked. This motherfucker had all the belts. I think this is what we're gonna go through with Tyson Fury and Usyk, honestly. But um, this whole time we wanted Wilder Joshua. We wanted that shit. Everybody wanted that shit. They said that's gonna make the boxing world explode. They want undisputed and blah blah blah. This was before undisputed was the the thing to fucking do. You know what I'm saying? And now it's the fucking thing to do. Which is great because they, it gets the best fighting the best. The people that actually have these titles to, you know what I'm saying, step up to the plate and actually fight the top guys at their division. All right, so boom. They overcooked that shit. Homeboy loses the belts. Other homeboy loses his belt. Now we're beltless, right? But I give Joshua the bigger um, the bigger slice of the pie because he, he actually been fighting guys, contenders and shit like that. Wilder after fucking Tyson Fury has fought paint cans, bro. Like, let's be honest. You know what I mean? So to me, Wilder don't deserve that fight. Wilder deserves to fight somebody like Andy Ruiz. And Andy Ruiz deserves to step up. So I'm not talking down on Wilder. He is still up there in the ranks. But if you really want to make the matchup, Wilder's down. He need he needs uh, you know what I'm saying, a up uh a, a up in class of fighter. And Ruiz has not just been fighting paint cans neither. He fought Ortiz, which uh, Wilder fought as well. And he fought, um, you know what I mean, Ariola, mm -hmm. which was, you know what I mean, like a, a match that everybody wanted to see, you know, with them two, you know what I mean, for a while. But, um, uh, yeah, so I feel like Deontay Wilder and fucking Andy Ruiz should get it on. And then it gives Joshua a chance to, you know what I'm saying, get his fucking mental shit under wraps and then uh you know what i mean uh, give the case for wilder to uh you know uh get a win or you know ruiz to step up and be back in the ranks you know i personally want wilder ruiz there was there was also uh something on that there was also talks back then uh joshua and eddie hearn had offered uh wilder uh multi-million offer but he declined it as well so i don't know i don't know what was the reason behind that should have took it could have beat his ass but joshua looked unbeatable back then bro yeah like he, he looked, he looked beatable but his confidence is the thing that fucking hinders him right now if he had his confidence in the ring he could still do his thing he's he's definitely strong he's he's definitely um you know what i mean like he, he could use more head movement and shit like that but <laughs> he he's got his fundamental down, you know what I mean, for as big and athletic as he is and shit like that. Like he's he's a good fighter, bro. I think he's more he's a better fighter than than Wilder. Yeah, uh, yeah. like technically better than him. But I believe that you know that eraser, bro, is that you know what I mean. Yeah, but, I mean he did he did prove it against the second Reese fight. Joshua Joshua came in in there. He schooled Reese without a doubt. Yeah, he just boxed him around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you're not going to be able to do that with Wilder, bro. I don't know why Wilder would want to turn that shit down. He could have beat his ass, bro. Like, I'm still sitting here saying, wondering why. Ass out, bro. I'm <laughs> still sitting here wondering why we're still counting Anthony Joshua out of this shit, man. Like, I mean, he, I, I think he's more, he is deserving of that fight, man. I mean, he's. The guy's twenty five and three. He he fought Jermaine Franklin. Jermaine you remember Franklin when Austin Powers like lost his mojo, my nigga? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> Anthony Joshua is Austin Powers, bro. Nah, he lost man. his motherfucking we, we, mojo. He need to go on a mission, go find that shit. You know what I'm saying? And get back to it. I know we're in a different segment, but we just got through talking about AB, man. AB was in the same fucking point, like, <laughs> he was, he was. like he was in the same fucking position, man. And we're we're sitting here counting them out, like, yeah, all right. He fought Jermaine Franklin. Jermaine Franklin was 21 and two. Like, and uh, come on, man. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know why we're just sitting here saying that, that Anthony Joshua is, is not deserving of that fight, man. I believe it. I, I think so. I know he's ducking. He's ducking because they, they offered it to him. And he and now you got Wilder talking shit on fucking Twitter about it. But 
Yeah, but he dug before, so fuck it. Double, you know, duck, duck, goose, nigga. What's up? <laughs> duck, duck, goose. Crazy as right now. <laughs> you see me? All right, let's, 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 let's keep it moving, man. Um, all right, <laughs> so we got – um. all right, we'll, we'll just go boxing talk, and then we'll go to the last uh, – so we got two more topics in, or three more topics and we'll get the fuck out of here. All right, so big topic of the fucking day, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, everybody in the boxing world is going fucking nuts because, you know what I mean, he, 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 the king of boxing, you feel me, is, uh, you know, flexing his motherfucking Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> He's flexing his Dwayne. muscle out here, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, Canelo joining with the PVC with a uh, reported three-fight deal, you know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can um, pull this shit up. This is great, man. This is already seen it before, but straight timer. Oh no! (laughs) Ah, never mind. Anybody, everybody's seen it. Anybody that's paying fucking attention, seen it anyway. So yeah, all right. uh, We'll give Pedro the floor first. We'll go backwards. So uh, you know, what's your take on this three fight deal? Who do you feel like he's going to fight, and what order is he going to fight them in? And do you feel like he's going to win or lose those fights? And does he retire after this? Oh wow! You got it. <laughs> uh, the I see him fighting uh, Charlo. Right. Well, obviously Charlo will be the first one. Uh, second one probably most likely Benavides, and then third one Spence. And I say I'm uh, nine, probably ninety percent sure. Uh, him retiring after those those three fights. Ninety percent sure. Yeah, I see him. Fi- I see him retiring. I got him retiring. Okay, okay. That's a, uh. So what's like? What do you think? How do you think he wins all three of them fights? How how does that go? He he beats he beats Charlo Benavides. Uh, if it goes to the twelve rounds, uh. I can see I can see it going to Benavides. Uh and then uh Spencer, I think he beats him. Dude, just cause Spencer, they're talking about if if it goes to Spencer and Canelo, uh they're saying Spencer go moving up to one sixty eight and that's in less than a year and a half. Cause he's gonna be most likely fighting Crawford for there's gonna be a rematch clause for whoever wins or loses. Uh and that gives him probably a year and a a year, six months to a year, to fight Canelo. And I don't think he's gonna have power. Uh, endurance might affect him too, but he he has endurance. But endurance might affect him too. Going up, what is it? Two two weight classes. Yeah. Two through two three weight classes. Yeah. So I think that's gonna affect him. Yeah, but I got him winning. Win, win the Benavides. Is fifty fifty, and then winning, beating Spencer, yeah, and then just getting the fuck out of there, huh? Yep, getting out of there. That's your motherfucking time, okay? Time, all right? Yeah. So like the he's thirty two though. Like let's make that point. He is thirty two. You know, yeah. so this is this is with you know this year. I don't know if he turned thirty thirty two this year or he'll be thirty three. So that anyways that puts him at thirty four. Retiring at thirty four is that too soon? All right, next we go, uh, Ed. Got it. So, I mean, we, we already know Charlo's going to happen, so we could just go ahead and, and stop putting that as one of them. Yeah, I mean, it ain't certified. Yeah, it we, ain't know that's, certified. we know but that. <laughs> we know, know that's going to be the big – we know that's the fight that's going to happen the first one. Like, as you far as know. fans go, like, we know that's going to happen. Um, <laughs> it it <laughs> would be – the second one, like like – he said Benavidez. I'm saying it's going to be Spencer Crawford. One of them I would like to see. I would more lean more towards Crawford to see that fight happening. And then third, you could toss it up and, and say, since he only has a three fight deal, we could say Benavidez, like save that one for the end because that's the one everybody wants to see or fight uh, David Morrell. David Morrell would be a good fight as well against him, but, um Benavides definitely for the third one and not retire. I say give it one more chance and go fight Bavol and then retire. Hot take. You still got a minute. You got anything to add? 
that's just what I, I want to see that. I mean, his his last three fights against Ryder, uh, Triple G, and Bavall, he wasn't really the best. Okay, so then learn from your mistakes in these last three fights, right? These last three fights, go and do that. Show us that you are the competitor, that the champion, that we know you are, and then go back to Bavall and whoop that fucking ass and and go out, man. Just go out on top. That'll put you at at least 34, 35. And you're done proven. Now it's just exciting. Now it's just sitting back and getting that money from us because we're going to pay to watch these fucking fights happen, regardless of what order they come in. And my and my list might not even fucking happen. We're still going to fucking pay to watch a Canelo fight. I mean, that's that's the that's what you get out of it. Right. So go ahead. I'm I'm a Charlo fan, but I'm. I'm not going to bet against Canelo going against him. Yeah, I'm not. And, that, and that is the first time off. on the record that I have ever said that before. <laughs> so y'all got it. <laughs> first time on the record, huh? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't fucking do it. You're fucking fixing it, motherfucker you. You motherfucker you. Yeah, see how I get it. See how I do it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, man. Let me get my two minutes in. Let me let, hey before this, let me um pull this shit up, bro. I got it right here while you was talking and shit. Uh I love Nunez and you talk shit about her all day. <laughs> I yeah, can yeah, sit here and talk bitch. shit on Brazilian all day. Fucking stupid ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Screwing chop. Done deal. Sir. September. Yeah, man. So uh if you haven't, man, make sure you go follow Welcome to the Scrap uh on TikTok. You know what I mean? We in there. You know what I'm saying? The numbers going crazy and all that, man. Make sure. Stay updated with some bullshit. You know what I mean? All right, let me get my uh, timer up here, man. You know, man. Before you start your time, did we did we what was the amount for these three for this fight deal? Do we know? Because now they didn't ever say it. They said it's a hundred, hundred, a hundred, hundred million plus. plus. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That never really hey, said Get in the bag. Get to the bag, my boy. Get <laughs> Man, to the all bag. Three, my all, boy. all three of these. Oh, no, no, no. We didn't, we didn't even go dummy boy. Dummy boy is on you, brother. Go ahead. All right. Well, as usual, not going to say a lot, but I would agree with, uh, Double D's uh, order in fight choices. Um, it would make a lot of sense, like, hype-wise. And, I don't know, just choosing the opponents that he would probably want to face off first, the next, the next, right? So, the first guy, I'll be honest, I don't know who that is. Um, maybe just because I'm not a super... Head into the game, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Give, so give him a I break, guys. Who he's, the he's, guy is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, but, I'm just barely putting him on. You know what I'm saying? He a pup. He a but pup, guys. I would pup. say, I would say, it would make sense to put him first. Um, kind of, you know, start it off, and then Spence next. Um, that's I, not happening. I see him. What? That's not happening. That's not happening. Not a chance. Um, I see him knocking him out. Pretty, pretty. Um. Mm, not, not pretty Hot early. Take. I would say later in the rounds, uh, like ninth. He'll he'll be a good. They'll stand in there for a while, and it'll be it'll. I'm just telling you, it'll be a war. Just tell you that much. And then uh, Benavides. Yeah, that's 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 gonna set up and be one of the biggest fights in in a year. I'll say that, just because of the. The hype behind it, and you know, one side saying you mean Canelo's the biggest bitch scared. in boxing, Benavidez. Oh, all right. I don't know. They oh, say right. Canelo's being scared because oh, right. he didn't want to take the fight, oh, and then right. you know, uh, Benavides is kind of what the people <laughs> are trying to call that next guy or whatever. So it's like you know, <clears throat> testing it out with Canelo and see what happens. You feel me? So that's all I gotta say. I bet. 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 So top. Let me ask you something real quick. Buzzer beater. Let me ask you. You said you said Spence isn't going to happen. Is that because you're assuming that Spence is going to lose against Crawford and he won't get that fight? 
No, nah, you just uh, think it is not gonna happen. There's gonna there's a rematch clause in that shit. So whether win or lose, it's gonna be two fights. And it's not gonna be in time. So mm. it won't be next. Both, it won't be next. both ways. Yeah, his, both his of them dates have are loss. yeah. His dates are fucking single to mile. Fucking you know in September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Independence Day. So you already know <clears throat> Mexican Independence Day about to come up. That's gonna be one fight and then two, three. So like it's got to be. I, I'll explain it in mind, but yeah, that's why. That's why. Yeah, you can't cheat and put some extra seconds on yours. <laughs> I'm gonna need it actually because I'm long winded <laughs> at this shit. I, I even got this shit kind of written down. I'm trying to go through it, but uh, all right, let's let's try to get through this shit. All right, so Charlo for the first fight, people are talking shit, but and, and calling Canelo, uh, you know, what I'm saying names and shit like that because he's trying to fight somebody that's been off for two years or whatever, uh, you know. But Charlo been at, uh, you know, talking. They talk really highly. The, both of the Charles talk really highly about uh, Canelo. You know what I'm saying, which is which is dope. But they also say that they could whoop his ass, and they offer they offered uh, Charlo to fight before, and he turned that shit down. So just gotta say that uh, a lot of people are saying anyone but David Benavidez is not the right fight. Listen, let this man cook. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, let this man cook, bro. The, 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 the world is fast food, right? Everybody want everything right now as you order it. You know what I'm saying? Pull up and give me my shit. Let me get the fuck out of here. Canelo, my man, is a fucking high-end chef. Think motherfucking uh, Gordon Ramsay, Guy Fieri, you know what I'm saying? Wolfgang Puck, shit like that. You feel me? I said, let my man cook, bro. Let him bring out all the courses and get his shit off. You know what I'm saying? Sit back, enjoy the show, you know what I'm saying, until you get to your main course. You know what I mean? These, these motherfuckers don't know. What the fuck they want? What they talking about, bro? What they want? Because like you just want you just want to get to the main shit, bro, and not build up to that shit. That's retarded. Like why? You know what I'm saying? I want to see greatness, and greatness is going to be build up from the guys that you that are in the way that the motherfuckers feel like you know there's room for whatever <clears throat> room for improvement on their end, and they can you know what I'm saying um, that they're able to beat him. And so basically just going stages. This is Mario. You know what I mean? He he he's fucking going stage to stage trying to save the princess type shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? How much how much more does he have to show y'all, bro? How much more does he have to prove? You know what I mean? At this point, I feel like he's a great, it's solidified. Ain't no way around it. You know what I mean? But um, you know, of course, he's gonna do it all again, bro. And um, what I say is it's gonna be Charlo. Um uh, I, I would say Charlo, <sighs> fuck, Charlo, Andre, <laughs> and Benavidez, bro. Spence is not even in the plan. Mm. You know, that's my time, I guess. <laughs> I, I have more to say. I'll get more Crawford. I, I, I hope he, I hope he. Crawford ain't going up that I high. Give, I hope he loses, he wins against Charlo, even though I'm a Charlo fan. I hope he does. And like I said, I'm not going to bet against that. And then I hope his second fight he loses, and then his third fight he loses, and then we can laugh at this whole fucking deal, three fight deal that they wasted money on, and then he retires, and I never have to hear the fucking name. Oh, that's no, cool. Wow, crazy. the switch side is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told yeah, yeah, you. Cool. Cool. Stand on your square, bro. Stand on your square, because I'm, I'm gonna be right there, know. nigga. We gonna stand next to each other. We, I'm right there, cat. Yeah. Don't you worry about it. About Fucking dude, no more. So tired of him, <laughs> bro. It's like, bro, y'all said, y'all said, my man wouldn't go up. Motherfuckers were saying, oh, he can't hang with Mayweather. He clearly hung with Mayweather, bro. You know what I'm saying? He lost the fight. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather put that slick boxing shit on him, and he lost the fight, bro. But he was still there. It wasn't a beat down. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get beat up. But uh, he did clearly lose the fight, bro. And I, I, I ain't hating on that. I'm a Mayweather fan as well. You know what I'm saying? And y'all said he wouldn't go up. He wouldn't he wouldn't fight Triple G. He's scared to fight Triple G. Then y'all said he wouldn't give him a rematch because y'all thought he lost the fight. Then he gave him a rematch and, and and stood in the paint with him, which they said he wouldn't stand in the paint with him. Okay, so what is it, bro? Like mm-hmm. then then they say, oh, he he he's too old and he's this. It's, it's always something, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's always something. And then he even gave the dude like he even he even gave the dude the respect to put his belts up against him at a higher weight class, bro. Like to, to be like, I right, boom, like if you can beat me, bro, like here here you take these belts, dog. And you know what I mean? 
Exactly. Yeah. But what more does my man got to do, bro? I don't know. I don't know. That's what Canelo's been doing, like you said, is just kind of showing people that he's in here. Like, I don't know. He he clearly loves to fight, clearly, because, you know, he likes to challenge himself and puts it, put himself in these difficult situations. And, you know, whether he knows he's going to win or lose, he's so going to all been, his... I've been hearing you know, a lot of motherfuckers say, like, uh, you know, uh, we we is Canelo scared? Or he's ducking. He's this. He's this because he don't respond. He don't get on the internet like all the regular all these regular motherfuckers get on the internet and they go back and forth talking shit. He don't have to do that. He's the fucking king of boxing. You know what I'm saying? He's not getting online saying, "Uh, yeah, fuck Charlo or fuck the rest of them, fuck Benavidez or no shit like that, bro." Like you know, they ask him questions here and there, like, and, and he'll give his respect, bro. If you really listen to him, he's like. You know, Ben. He said Benavidez is a good fighter, but he's not ready. Type shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he said these fucking things, bro. So don't act like, oh, just because these motherfuckers get online, oh, Canelo's scared. Like, bitch, I wouldn't give you the fight either. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The way you get a fight with with Canelo is you shut the fuck up. You shut the <laughs> fuck up, bro, and 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 let that man pick you, because everybody in the world already knows. Canelo knows. I promise you, he does. Mm-hmm. And then whenever it's the right time, he's going to be like, all right, Benavidez, come on, let's get that. You know what I'm saying? And then you talk your shit once it's signed. You know what I'm saying? Call his mama whore, say his brother got fucked by the cartel, all That's type crazy. of fucking stupid shit, bro. Just say he fucks his horses, like all, all stupid shit, bro. Like, just go crazy, bro. <laughs> say whatever the fuck you want to. But before that, shut the fuck up until you get the payday. Payday. You want payday? payday. I got to get that one, too. I got to get that song. <laughs> Yeah, man, you gotta stop down with my boy. He was born ready. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's such an exciting fighter, too. <laughs> Fuck you, Eddie. <laughs> uh, I mean, with well, I mean, we can say the uh, a real question you can ask is like, who who else is doing what Canelo is doing? Who uh, else is going up? Who else fighting is going UK up? fighters? Look, they, they have the belts, bro. Like, what All the champions. fuck is the argument on that? <laughs> I mean, Mandatories like... where they are supposedly. Uh, cherry picks, but he has to fight him, or else that one fifty-four thing is gonna happen again. He's gonna get stripped of his belts, and then what are they gonna oh, say they, about that? They literally uh, praised Josh Taylor and fucking uh, Terrence Crawford for making undisputed, bro, and they fought fucking nobodies. Mm. Name them. Name who they fought for these fucking belts. Mm. But you putting weight on Canelo, bro. <laughs> and nobody... But I'm also not. I'm also not saying Terrence or any of them are on his level. I'm just saying that if we're gonna sit here and talk and be all bold about Canelo, we have to accept the fact that a lot of his opponents were nobodies too. Like, <laughs> oh, they weren't, bro. Billy Joe Sanders is that man overseas, bro. He was that man before that undefeated champ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, Callum Smith and the the, the, the yeah. them brothers or whatever the fuck they they was doing their little thing. You might could call them bums or whatever the fuck. Who's the one that you said Pedro the other day? He fought first for that first belt. They were they were doing it for the uh, vacant uh, vacant championship. Talk guy, talk uh, Callum Smith. I think it was. It was. It uh, was. No, no, no. You. It, that was. It was it. I don't know. I had looked it up the other day while we was talking and shit. But anyway, so we're gonna say Caleb Plant. Like we're gonna say one or Caleb six Plant. <laughs> bro, I mean, Caleb Plant was that guy at that no, fucking he division. Yes, he wasn't. was, bro. <laughs> bro, they were touting him like uh, he's Philly Shell. He's doing this at a high weight. He's blah blah blah. Bro, yes, and in, in the biggest fucking fight in that division. Them niggas were ducking each other. And who the fuck's gonna talk about that? David Benavidez and Caleb Plant was was not fighting. Am I wrong? <laughs> Before Canelo even got to the fucking uh, shit. Before Canelo even got to the party. So, so then he was nobody until Ca until Canelo got onto oh. it. Like, oh, no, no. They've been they've been talking about. That's what I'm like, saying. Oh, like, they've I'm been just talking saying, about Caleb Plant. I'm just saying. I, I'm I'm sticking to what I'm saying, man. Like none of these people. Oh, and who the fuck has been a Vitez for? Uh, I mean, let, I mean, let's 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 put it like this: nobody was nobody until Canelo came into until the picture. Until Canelo just... came into the picture, but because we put him at so high, such high regard, so we're saying if nobody was nobody until Canelo came, 
then everybody he fought was a nobody then. Like, it's, it's we're all true. agreeing with that. Now, they're it undefeated is. fighters with belts, bro. How are they nobodies? But the but the comment is they were nobody until they fought Canelo, which means that they were nobody then. Like uh, I mean, uh, Bivol is a per- Bivol is a perfect example. Nobody knew him until Canelo came. Until Canelo and, came. And and look and look at him. He he is a great fighter. Him better be if they've been up there for years. And he ducked but... better be if to say that. And it's not <laughs> we'll, we'll say that. I I, I will stand on that. Yeah, I will say that too. It's not to discredit their skill sets. Is like y'all just saying, like you know, obviously y'all keep reiterating that they were nobody until Canelo gave them clout, and then now they're this person. But and let's be still, clear, they're, they're not, not nobodies, like, bro. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, trying. they're undefeated. I, I, chat. They're, Listen, if you're listening to this podcast and you can't understand what I mean by saying nobodies, then you should go somewhere else because we always we obviously know that these aren't one and no fighters. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm saying the the, the regard. I mean, some of them were were 15 and no, some of them were 18 and no. You know, I mean, look, and then you give that to somebody like Canelo Alvarez right now. Like, yeah, you could kind of go on the limb and say. That they were nobodies that before that. Like I, I, I don't. I'm not discrediting dude. I'm just saying I don't. I don't hold them in a higher regard like y'all do. In that, I don't think so. I think at, at a um, you know, because who used to be in the fucking division? Badu Jack used to be in that division. Uh, there was uh, there was a few others, right? Uh, didn't uh, Ward used to be in that division? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? So there's a few others, but like when when Badu Jack is, you know, getting his forehead split open and, and going on his little hiatus or whatever the fuck, and you know, Ward has been out the fucking sport, like they've been talking about plant and Benavidez, bro. Plant and Benavidez fighting. And I've been hearing this for a long time. I'm not I'm not just a casual, so I've been hearing about this, I've been knowing about them. I, so I don't see how or where there are nobody in, in, a, in a sense of do they sell? No, they don't. So does that make you a nobody? Yes, that probably does. But as far as skill and accomplishments, I feel like they've been doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? But Canelo did come in there and sweep up the game. I mean, can you blame him, bro? Like Terrence Crawford did the same thing. Look up who who he fought. In that, in the what was it, the the thirty five division or whatever, uh, or was it lower than that? Was it? But but yeah yeah you're right. But yeah, again, I'm not saying that Terrence. I'm not high holding Terrence Crawford to this high regard that everybody is holding Canelo to, because I know that about Terrence Crawford. I know the fights he's had, so I wouldn't I wouldn't hold him that way. I understand. Canelo has won all these fights, but uh, a good majority of them, man, are, 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 are he's in the same boat. Even can you name the, the people that Charlo beat to get his uh, undisputed? No, no, I'm talking about That's what I'm saying. Little, but you're gonna know you're gonna know the superstar. You're gonna know the superstar. You're gonna know the main one. Man. The one that's always winning. You're gonna know that. But that that don't make them nobodies, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But in the end of the day. Say it, say it how you want. I just don't. I don't. I don't like the the smut on my nigga name. You know what I'm saying? He he went up in divisions and shit like that and was collecting heads and shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And 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 you know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. I me personally, do I feel like Canelo still? Uh, I like the Canelo at one one sixty. I like I like that. You know what I'm saying? Because he was mm-hmm. still being able to be a power puncher, but still being able to slick box and do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now at the one sixty eight, bro, he's Shelled up, walking in, bro. You know what I mean? I, I, and I really don't like that he's taking more hits and shit. And like, I just really don't like that, bro. He's it's it's feeling Adrian Broner esque, and I don't even want to put it on that type of time. But you know what I mean? Like the picking the shots and you know not throwing so much. He he is out there throwing, but you, you know that that's not the output. Yeah, that it was before or the the movement or you know what I mean all that shit. So. Anyways, you know what I'm saying? That was a good-ass conversation. Fuck it. We'll leave it at that. Uh, also, we got next topic. <laughs> Who wants to see the greatest fight in the world? Elon Musk versus 
<laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Why the hell did we start out with this? We should have let it. This is what they came to hear, bro. <laughs> Everybody say I. <laughs> Everybody wants that shit, right? Yeah. He said this sell a billion pay per views. You know? Yes. <laughs> and it's all for it's all for char- charity, right? Yeah, charity. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, they obviously don't need the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. You know when it's for charity, you only have to uh, like. Uh, donate like ten percent or some yeah. crazy small yeah. ass number, right? Yeah, I can say it's for charity, make a billion bucks or ten hundred billion bucks, <laughs> okay. gazillion billion zillion bucks, <laughs> you know. What I mean? And then ten percent. Here you go. <laughs> make my tides and offering, bro. It's like fucking Catholic Church. <laughs> but is it even going to generate that much hype, though? Yeah, of course. They're they're the Two richest men on the fucking face of the earth gonna fucking get in an octagon and beat each other's ass. <laughs> yeah. Do I give a fuck? No, I don't. But will I tune in? Yes, I will. That's a Jake Paul fight to me. Like, hey, I'm I'm gonna watch. It's a spectacle, bro. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> yeah. People tuned in for this last week to hear about fucking billionaires dying on a submarine. You think they're not gonna watch two billionaires beat the shit out of each other? Yes. Two billionaires die in the octagon. <laughs> but who y'all got? Who y'all got? I'm just gonna say it off top. I got Elon straight That's up. That's who I got. South Elon, Africa for the yeah. win. Yeah. South Africa for the win. Come on. <laughs> I got Zuckerberg. Zuck ain't got the hands, man. Oh, Zuckerberg. Come on, Zuckerberg guy, come got on. Zuck ain't got the hands. Nah. Zuckerberg been I'm, training, right? Hell no. Nah. Uh my man Elon and Alpha, bro, he gonna get in there and Nah. <laughs> By the way, those aren't hey. punches. Those are slaps like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna get extremely tired if the fight is, you know, you know what I mean. Like, I don't know how many rounds it. It will probably have three rounds, but it's very suspect that fucking Dana White is on uh, Zuckerberg's dick, bro. Like, he, he's good at jujitsu. He's blah blah blah. He's been training. It's very suspect, bro. There's some. Remember, remember they shut down the Apex to have fucking the Facebook team in there. Oh yeah, remember that shit? Yeah. They, they didn't did. allow any of the media in that bitch. Mm. They didn't allow anybody in that hole. They had yeah. Zuckerberg in that bitch and all his people. You know what I mean? So there's something going on there, bro. I thought he's they were gonna helping the USC. <laughs> this is at the time I thought they was gonna bring that USC shit to the metaverse. You know what I'm saying? To the meta, whatever. Just yeah, like to the Oculus. The Oculus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then they never rolled anything out. I was like, that's weird, bro. Like they shut down everything for this motherfucker to have a fight for himself. Like, mm-hmm. but what's behind this? You know what I mean? And then, uh, yeah. So let's let's play the video. Fuck it. I'll let Dana say it for herself. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this shit is, bro. I can't believe. And it, I'll, I'll save it for after, bro. <laughs> Just so random. <laughs> no, no, because I got I got shit. To say. I got I got to talk to Dana White. You know what I mean? Again, once again, man. Make sure y'all go follow. Welcome to the scrap. You know what I'm saying on uh, TikTok and shit and on Instagram. Mark Zuckerberg responded with "Send me location." And uh, I was talking to both Elon and uh, Mark last night. Both guys are absolutely dead serious about this. Because they both said, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> they both want to do it. Mark Zuckerberg hit me up first and said, is he serious? And I said, I don't know. Let me ask him. I asked him and he said, yeah, I'm dead serious. This would be the biggest fight ever in the history of the world. Um, bigger than anything that's ever been done. It would break all pay-per-view records these guys would raise. You know, money. bigger than anything that's ever been Hell done. It's kind of fucking crazy, bro. Like, what the fuck? Why, uh, uh, Dana? Why, bro? Tens of millions of dollars for charity. <laughs> and, uh, Only tens of millions of dollars, huh? All right, bet. You, know, you don't have to be a fight fan to be interested in this fight. You know? Trying to ring in the uh, the the casuals, get the casuals going. You know, everybody would want to see it. Listen, if these guys are serious. I make fights that people want to see. Let's stop it there. I make fights that people want to see. Let's stop it there, right? So so we have the opportunity to see John Jones Uh. versus Francis Ngannou (laughs) because the PFL and the UFC are on ESPN, both of them. Mm. How hard is that fight to fucking make? I understand. Let Francis go over there. Let him be champ first. He got to be champ. This is the fight you make. 
Easy. Let him go there. Let him be champ. He's champ. John Jones is champ. They fight for like a BMF style of belt, a crossover shit. That's how it works. Dana White, you make this Elon shit happen, bro, and you don't make that PFL, <laughs> you know, John Jones, Francis and Ganu shit work. You a sucker, for dude. Me. That's it's, it's going that right there is a dream in the making. Like I believe that a whole one hundred percent. I think they know. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he let Nganu fucking go just so that they could fucking do that. Yeah, go ahead and do push this this presser of fucking Elon and fucking Zuckerberg. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's make let's try to make this happen. But in the background, I think they're gonna start thinking about that. I don't know, man. You talk so much shit about Jake Paul and all this other, you know, these clown like circus acts and. All this shit. We we don't do that over here. We don't do those kind of things over here. Blah blah blah. Because he's not promoting them. <laughs> if he was promoting them, he would be on their dicks. I look how it. fucking look how good he is with the happy da- the happy seltzer guy. Whatever the fucking happy daddy shit. <laughs> no, all over his dick and everything. Happy daddy. Yeah, whatever the fucking seltzer shit is. Like he's all over their fucking dick. The like and, and they're doing. They do the exact same shit. Fucking Jake Paul and them did, except they don't fight. They don't like, fight. Come on, man. Like, come on. If you were promoting them, you would be all over them. Same thing as this. If they work away and work a deal for fucking Dana to get in here, of course, he's going to sell it the same way. Everybody talks shit about slap and look what happened. It's now I tune into fucking slap cards whenever it happens on pay-per-view. You know, like, <laughs> so I'm just saying the guy's going to market his, his way into whatever the fuck he can do. He no longer is the CEO of UFC. So let's let me see what the fuck I can do. People are going to follow it because it's my name and it has fighting attached to it. <laughs> um, I think he's losing his mojo, man. I don't know, bro. That, that, that team and to go to TMZ, bro. Like that's not even a, all right, whatever, bro. Like <laughs> you got it, man. You got it, bro. Like, I don't know. Pedro, you trying to see that shit, bro. Which one? <laughs> the Mark Zuckerberg fucking Elon shit, bro. I mean, shit, I'll be tuning in here and there, but hey, I won't have my eyes on it the whole time, you know? Just going to laugh at that shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't even think about how big the fight. <laughs> I didn't even think how big the fight would be until I thought, like, oh, wait, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, yeah, Facebook then... versus Twitter. Let's go. Right. I will. <laughs> I will definitely tune in. But the way you're going to get me is if you push this just like any other fight, man. Get up there, have a press event, let them talk shit to each other, <laughs> build up. Let's see I'm some fun. So Let's see some behind the scenes <laughs> training. That, that hey, would be, hold on. I'm going to roll that my would be shit great. backwards, bro. I'm going to roll my shit backwards one time. One time for the one time. I'm going to roll it back. Mm. Dana, you're a smart man. It just clicked. You said it, Eddie. Twitter versus Facebook. This is going to be the high, most highly promoted fight on the fucking pl- oh, no, the- planet, bro. If he if he puts together like a fire ass UFC card, right, and has them niggas headline, yeah, just <laughs> blows up, bro. Facebook and Twitter are all over the world, bro. They go yeah. for the internet belt. No, I'm just kidding. And they have the op- they have the control to be like, let's push this into everybody's inbox. <laughs> mm. hey, you know how motherfuckers get kicked off of Facebook and Twitter for streaming that shit? You know, you, what, what can you do? You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to fucking do, kick them. This is great. They're bro. distracted. Yeah, you won't be able to kick them off. You have the fucking president's fighting right there. Like, what are you going <laughs> to This is great. Yeah. Everybody will be able to see it. Get your ass. Right, man, it's just still corny, though. It's, it's corny. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's all jokes right now, but I mean, okay. You you get up there and have Mark Zuckerberg say some shit like who the fuck is this guy? Like, <laughs> like, he said he said, he said Zuck says send locations. Send yeah. Location. Like you get them up on a press event and have them talk some shit like that. I'll kick your fucking ass. You know, shit I'll like like real fucking, fucking <laughs> like real fucking fight shit, man. And you're gonna have me hooked, man. You get you get it like that, you're gonna have me hooked. Don't so, just stop with Elon and Musk. Get your CFOs in there too. Get the fucking the guy who leads the oh, the, the teams and shit. <laughs> just start getting those motherfuckers. 
And to promote this shit, okay, you got Twitter, you got Facebook, and they're going to go on Rogan. Both of them are going to go on Rogan. Both. The biggest podcast in the world, the biggest bro. Biggest podcast in the world. Facebook oh, owns oh, Instagram. Oh, it's over. Facebook, Facebook owns Instagram. You're going to put them on there. Like, he was wearing a Rumble tee. It's going to be on there. This fucking fight's going to be everywhere, man. You won't need to steal it. We'll see it. <laughs> 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 nah, do y'all know which UFC yes, is gonna sir. be? Like, what number? Or no? I don't think it's gonna be on a. They card. asked him how much it was gonna cost. He said a hundred bucks. <laughs> hundred bucks. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, they about to fund the mess out of it. Yeah, man. All right, so on to the last topic, man. What's my man Connor doing, bro? We out here, dog. He ain't getting the Usada pool and nothing like that, man. He ain't fighting this year. He is not Pushed not off 2024, dog. Is he ever going to fight again next year? I, I am a fan. I want to see him fight. But right now, he's got a lot of shit going on. I know he's facing those allegations still. So he's kind of just trying to. What's your take on the allegations? I want to hear it. In a fucking, see the videos? In an NBA fucking restroom? Like, come on, man. Like, Apparently, it was said it was alleged that it was at the stadium, but it wasn't. The videos were at a nightclub. Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, what do you do? <laughs> he's facing rape allegation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. makes sense. In a restroom during the NBA finals. It's um, got. It's got to be. It's got to be sucky to be that rich, bro. And like, you get that kind of. You can't even cheat on your wife properly. It's not even your favorite team. It's, Damn, it's just some random basketball game. You but, know, the fucked up thing is I always say that whenever a celebrity gets caught cheating, I'm like, man, that's like some regular people shit. Like, if you're just <laughs> if you're just a spouse of somebody who's rich as fuck, just shut the fuck up. Like, all yeah. you got to do is just ride it up. You're still going to get paid. And now yeah. you have a reason to go out and get some dick or get, get some ass from somebody, you know, like, yeah, because yeah. your spouse cheated on you. So fuck it. Like, Connor, what are you doing, man? Why didn't you get this bitch to sign an NDA before you do her in the restroom? <laughs> Probably had her a little more. bit of money. It wasn't enough for her, man. Yeah. Everybody wants more. Everybody I mean, wants she, more. She probably, uh, bro, and she's she's like a she, she's a bigger size woman. Like, what's mm-hmm. Connor up to, bro? Like, <laughs> like she must have had the coke, bro. He mm. probably did, yeah. Into the restroom, hitting the toot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dressed up on her a little on. bit. She, you know what I'm saying? Probably started giving him a blowy. He was like, I'm trying to get that pussy real quick. See, I, I, like, I, oh, oh, hold on. And then he was like, obviously, he didn't rape her. He was like, all right, all right bet, bitch. My bad, my bad. How many times <laughs> you been in that situation? <laughs> like, come on. All right, my fault. Shit, I thought we was going yeah, there, thought, bitch. We in here by ourselves? <laughs> like, what was going on? You gave, you gave me the wrong signal. Yeah, you me giving mixed signals. You sucked my dick just now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just gonna bend you over and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to respect you a little bit and not let you do all the work. Like, God damn, you gonna do this to me? Trying to return the favor, bitch. <laughs> this is my money. I'm supposed to get the service. <laughs> yeah, man. But I mean, this ain't the first time he's got these allegations and shit. You know, there's another bitch on a boat, and there was another one I want to say. But you know, what's crazy about these allegations is. That's what they are, are just allegations right now. We don't really know the truth. So if, if I'm making fun of something that really happened, my bad. But if the crazy, the craziest thing about this whole thing is he's facing rape charges or allegations. Oh, right? Let's say but, this. But, 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 no, 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 no. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm going. But what, what, he's facing allegations for rape. And they don't know what they're going to do about that. And the thing that surprises me is he beat the shit out of that fucking mascot. And that mascot was just like, ah, uh, it's all right. Like, I, I'm think cool. that's, like, I think that's <laughs> fake, bro. That shit was fake, bro. <laughs> oh, boy, went to the doctor for real. Yeah, he did. They took, yeah. He was knocked out when they were pulled. They thought it was all part of it. That's why they were dragging him out. Because they thought it was in the, in the uh, meantime. It was, he was probably like, an accident. He was supposed to do that shit. In- oh, he... So, Where do you so, know how to hit? So he was, don't know how to WWE yeah, anything. Was, uh, he gets paid to knock niggas out for the, the the that whole interaction was scripted. Okay, there you that go. That whole interaction was scripted. See, they were trying they, to they play it in the media that yeah. it wasn't that no, it wasn't no, scripted. No, no, He's no, no, off no. his rock. He's been if drinking you, proper twelve. He's if you, out there. If you watch, yeah, motherfuckers out. Well, because, on cocaine. Look at him. He's well, because it. because of the fucking rape allegations, they're gonna try to just drag this guy in the mud. Right. But if you watch the video, he has this like spray that he sprays at the mascot. 
because he was promoting that spray, the spray oh, is like yeah, a pain yeah, relief spray that yeah, he yeah, has yeah. going on, right? So he was promoting that. So that whole interaction was scripted. When he hit him twice, that's what was supposed to happen, but he doesn't know his own fucking power. I mean, it's Conor yeah. McGregor. I mean, right? you can't tell when you're you're swinging yeah. at a head that's like here. Yeah. And homeboy's head is somewhere in there. It's somewhere in it's there. Like so, yeah. You're hitting the thing, but I mean, you didn't know that you was going to hit him, right? Like, because it's... <laughs> Yeah, you, you think you're hitting fluff is what you think. Yeah, right, right. You punch this guy in the face. They're dragging him out. Everybody's laughing and clapping it up. And that boy's ask, he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear nothing. Everybody's laughing. So they're dragging him off because that's what was scripted was them dragging him off, you know? And, and, that- and the reason why I said, fuck, I'm sorry, bro, because, bitch, you're going into the restroom. What the fuck did you think is going to happen in this restroom? Yeah, I was uh, just going in there to have a secret little talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just want to get to know you better. Like, what the fuck, bitch? Like, get to know you better. from the beginning of time and probably in Jesus' time, like uh, Joseph was taking Mary to the restroom and like, you know what I mean? Somebody was <laughs> somebody was taking Mary to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> we never oh, we never knew the father. We never knew the father. So I mean, I mean, somebody was taking. <laughs> Yo, no, <laughs> hold on, man, hold on, yeah, <laughs> nah, homeboy, uh, like, come on, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get it, okay, you know, I get it, I get it. it. Rape is not funny or whatever the fuck, but did she go to the um to the hospital? Did she get a rape kit? You know what I mean? Like, was she did, kit? Did, a rape kit? Did did she get penetrated? I doubt it. You know what I mean? If if she don't got none of if she don't got none of that, then it's because because it's it's rape allegations, right? The allegations let us know. Okay, well then shit hasn't been done. You're just saying that he did this, you know. Michael bro? Jackson fucked little kids and paid their parents, bro. Like let it just, you know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. That's a <laughs> the episode. That of fucking, welcome to the scrap, man. Pedro, appreciate you coming on, bro. He gonna be one of our official boxing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I ain't gonna call you an analyst because we are. You know what I mean? We just super fans around this motherfucker. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, our our uh super fan go to guy for boxing and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Dummy boy, appreciate you coming on. Edo, you already know. Let's go, man. We out this motherfucker. Tap in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that shit, man. We going up. Tell we will get better. Up. We will get better, guys. Please yeah, yeah. bear bear with us. Bear yes, with sir. us.